In today's video, we're taking a look at the BenQ W2710i. Now, if you haven't experienced a BenQ projector yet, then I definitely recommend that you try one. Now, in my opinion, it's a little bit like Apple products. You just know that they're Apple by looking at them. And with BenQ, you know it's a BenQ picture just by looking at it. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. So thank you to BenQ for sending this over for me to review. They've not asked me to say anything good or bad about it and everything that I say will be my own thoughts. So this comes with a BenQ media stick and I'll show you how to put that in, but it also comes with this, which is the factory calibration and each one of their machines is calibrated individually. There's a remote control, which has a nice surprise and this is the machine itself. Now this looks very familiar to most BenQ projectors over the last three or four years. This has the manual zoom, the manual focus, and the manual vertical lens shift, which I actually really like. It gives you the opportunity to get a great picture without affecting input lag. All of the connections are on the back and there's three HDMI ports, but there also is another one, which I'll show you in a second. So this does have a huge amount of connectivity, probably one of the most that I've seen on a consumer projector. Now it also has this, which is the QSO2 media stick. This goes inside the projector, and all you have to do is take the lid off of the projector and then install it. Now this, again, is something which other manufacturers do, but I think BenQ do it pretty well. Now there isn't really any space to put any other type of media stick. That QSO2 really does fit snugly in that space. So what that gives you, though, is a full Android operating system, which, again, you can then upgrade in the future. And all you need to do is put the lid back on, and then you're ready to go. There is a manual lens cover, and that protects it from dust. And this is the remote control for the main projector. Now, you can see that it is backlit, and you can sync it to the media stick as well, so you get the best of both worlds. Okay, so what about daylight viewing? Well, again, it's not that bad at all. As you can see, the room is very bright, and this is the type of image that you can get. So it's definitely very watchable in bright conditions. The brightness level has been measured at 2200 ANSI lumens, and that is going to be great for most people's environments. Now, as with all BenQ projectors in the last few years, they've got an incredible menu system, and they really are designed for you to get the exact perfect picture that you want. There is just so much that you can change, and whereas on some projectors you change these things and it doesn't really alter it much, this is is literally in finite detail and you've got so many different options I won't bore you in this video with them but safe to say if you're a tweaker then you're gonna love this machine now the Keystone connection is only 2d and as you can see you can only go left and right and up and down However, there is also Auto Keystone, which is also 2D. So if you prefer to use that, then you can. There's no automatic lens focus or anything like that. You always have to do that on the actual projector itself. There is also a basic menu if you choose that the advanced menu is too complicated. But when you do get that picture in a darker room, well, then it comes into its own. Now, where I was saying right at the very start of this that you can almost tell a BenQ projector, it's because of the quality and the cinematic shape to the image. It is just beautiful. Now, the one thing that you'll notice, incredibly, the colors are almost perfect straight away. Now, I don't know of anyone that really does much tweaking to a BenQ projector. Now, obviously, this has been factory calibrated as well, which is a really nice touch, and it really means that it's everything ready to go in one box. And it doesn't really matter what you put through this machine it's going to look incredible and it's going to look incredible right out of the box as soon as you turn it on now i had it in either cinema mode or filmmaker mode and i find that that is the best setting if you do want to play games then you are going to get a great gaming experience as well there is a game mode which will give you an input lag as low as around 18 milliseconds now i know for some people that won't be quite fast enough but you can dial that back a little bit by going into 1080p and then it will drop to as low as 8.7 milliseconds so again that's not too bad by the way if you are seeing any screen flickering it's just camera frequency you don't see any of that in reality it's a crystal clear super sharp picture so there's a few things that BenQ have included in this projector to give you the best quality picture. It has 95% of the DCI P3 and 100% of the Rec 709 color gamut. It features HDR10+, dynamic black technology, and enhanced tone mapping. Now all of this is designed to give you the most realistic cinematic feel as the director intended. But it's also got other things included as well. 
As well as game, there's also HDR10, HLG, ISF day and night picture modes. This projector also supports 3D and it has two 5 watt speakers. Although I do recommend, as I always do on any projector video, that you get your own sound system or utilize one of those spare HDMI arc ports because you can then hook it up to a soundbar. So I think in my opinion that this projector is really designed for the movie buff, somebody that wants incredible cinema quality pictures and also uses it for other uses, but their primary use is movies. I think it does a better job on that than some of its competitors. This after all is a fairly mid-range projector, but the cinematic quality of the picture is definitely above average. Everything else is on a par. So for gamers out there, yes, you'll be happy with this, but again, primarily, I would say if you're into the movies, then go for something like this. This is the BenQ W2710i. I can definitely recommend it. It's perfect for movies, TV, and it's good for gaming. But for the sound quality, I definitely recommend getting an external sound system and utilizing either the HDMI arc or the optical port.